Hey guys, and welcome to, I guess, this checking it out slash mini, I'll tell you how I did it. Um, I didn't actually record myself making the Got7 Triangle photo card sleeve. Um, basically because I had to have my face right up in this plastic the whole time, so you've been looking at the back of my head the entire time if I was going to do it properly. And I didn't think that would be an exciting video, just staring at my head all day. So, um, I'm just going to kind of talk about it a little bit. Um, I do have my templates that I use. So this was like the first one I did to actually see if I could fit it on a standard 12, one, you know, a standard one pocket sleeve. And clearly I'm hanging off, so that was not a good thing. But I did kind of get to see how the triangles would fit and kind of how I actually had to seal them to get it to fit nicely. So that came out pretty good. Um, I decided then to try and do like little triangle templates to just trace and cut out, but I didn't like that so I ended up making actual like cardstock triangles and I would just trace around them and that worked out really really good. And then my next attempt <laughs> was on a 12 by 12 sleeve which worked out really, really good. It all fit perfectly and I ended up being able to cut it down quite a bit so I actually could get a tighter fit. Um, but that's how it all sealed together. I tried my sealing clearly. I found out sealing through this much plastic wasn't gonna go too well. And this is the thinner, this is my testing like sleeve. So this is like the Avery sleeves and that's really thin. Um, so I knew with the Ultra Pro ones and the other 12x12 12 12 sleeve that I had, it was going to be harder if it was already ripping up. So I thought to try and sew it down. So I used my sewing machine and actually sewed the edges because it would get them closer, which means I could cut in more if I needed to. Um, but the thread ended up causing a problem where it started and at the ends because the threads are on the outside. So I couldn't really tie a knot to keep it tight. And it could easily just peel up because of the thread being so thin and just from wear and tear was just gonna come up. Also because I couldn't tie the thread on the end so that was a no-go but it fit beautifully again on a 12 by 12 sleeve. So that clearly was the route I was gonna have to go. And then for my final one, I ended up just sealing it. Um, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see how the seal looks. Um, so as you can tell, I'm not sure how well it's showing up, but it's a little bit of a mess here at the center because I ended up having to just take the heat tool and stick it on here just to flatten it down because it had all the points from all these different ones on it. But it doesn't look horrible in my opinion, but it's not the most attractive thing. And then here for where I had to seal it, there's four seals. I did the one for the one side, one for the other side, and then on the back I sealed it again one more time to try and really get a grip on this. You can tell a little bit mine's didn't grip too well here in the edge. I'm not surprised. Some of the other ones are pretty good. Um, like this one's a little bit up. Uh, um, but I think overall I'd say the corners stick probably I'd say 80 to 90 percent it's gonna hold um, since it is such thick plastic and it is so much to get through I can't just I can't say I guarantee that it's gonna hold um, so of course I'll put that on my Etsy listing too when I put it up on there <laughs> don't rip up at the ends because it probably will give and go um, which is why I'll show I put some in here so I'll show you how I gently put the photo cards in sealed everything up but um, I'm not sure if I'm going to actually sell it on Etsy or not just because I'm not sure about the quality of it I mean because I don't want to give it to someone and then they accidentally rip a corner up I mean I feel so bad for that especially since it's going to be a little bit more pricey just because of all the labor I had to put into it. It took a, I think it, like about an hour to make it seal everything all up because I probably spent a good five minutes just sealing like one line because <laughs> I would just inched it so slow and then in some points like here I would just hold the tool 
in one spot for like three seconds. I tried to do it on the ends just so it would just make a hole <laughs> all the way through if it could. But there it is. I'm going to kind of show you how I put the kind of cards in and everything like that. Um, here I'll show you the back. Oh, it looks all put together. Oops. I think I have people in the wrong spots because the backs aren't put together nicely in the picture. Oops. I think I put them in the wrong way. That's okay. I'll fix it. But that's how they would all technically fit in the seven sleeves. I'll have to fix that back, you know. There it is, and then I'll show you guys how I kind of put it in. Okay, so here we have it kind of partly done, um, the sleeves. I was just going to kind of show you how I do the ends. I paper clip mine to try and help hold the plastic to want to make like a little seal here. So next would be Bam Bam's card. So I basically just kind of roll it until I can grab an edge. And I don't lift these up too high. The seals here, I would say, are probably like 80 to 90% strong. They don't always go to the very, very end. Um, since I did have to go through like six layers of plastic <laughs> to try and seal this into one piece, um, I'm afraid if I pull too much, it might just rip up, even though I did seal this side as well as the other side, just to try and grip it on as much as it could to the plastic. So I just lift it slightly so I can fit my finger and just kind of wiggle the board out. Um, peel these off. So these are basically board templates I use to seal around so I could make sure that these were tight fits because they had to be basically perfect fits just to fit them nicely in a round circle. And then you basically just lift the plastic up a little bit I slide it across the top so I don't accidentally go underneath because it is not sealed underneath. And then I basically pick this up again, try to roll the corner, and the corner will roll right underneath the photo card. And since it's got the seal, you just push a little and it finishes rolling itself underneath. They do stick up a little bit since I didn't seal the bottom part, but I didn't want to seal it because I didn't want to have to try and roll the plastic underneath the actual photo card because I didn't want, I know it probably won't damage it or anything like that, but just for my peace of mind, and it was a lot less to have to try and seal, like I didn't have to try and lift this and seal, um, it just works better that way. So you kind of just do the same thing. Um, I mean, since I'll be the one making it, unless you want to have a go at this yourself, it was quite the challenge. Um, paper clipping it and then I put a ream of paper on top just to help um, give some more weight to the areas the paper clip wasn't holding. So pull the next piece out. Just peel all this blue tape off so I don't have to do it later. Again, just slide the card across the top part. Kind of curl the corner down. And it should, I mean, don't put too much pressure because then there's the gap already and it just flows itself. And there it goes. Alright, and the last one. You can either try to roll it out, but I find it easier just to stick my finger underneath and pull it that way. Okay, show me the cards. These cards won't come with it if you're going to buy it from me. Uh, most of the cost in this is just labor. Um, it took me about an hour to make it. I probably talked about all of this already. Um, but it took an hour to make this. Just because when I go over the ceiling, I literally was like so slow because I'm trying to fuse through so much plastic. I'll be honest, in some spots, I just sat there and held the tool for a couple seconds. And then moved it a little bit and moved it so I like held the ends in the centerpiece for like three seconds. I just left the fuse tool there just to try and melt through everything. Um, but yeah, this is what it ends up looking like as a whole. 
Um, it is slightly larger than a one pocket sleeve. Um, let me put it in a binder so you can see how much it'll hang. Here, I'll just grab one of my binders. So, if it's gonna be at the top, it's gonna be a noticeable hang. But if you put it where you have, if you did what I did anyways, the CD plates, it hangs just about as much as a CD plate will. So you just slide these in, and lock it in. That's how much it'll hang out with the actual binder closed. It hangs out just probably about the little bit it needed. I'd say probably about an half an inch, an inch. How much are we hanging out? Yeah, we're hanging out probably about an inch extra just to get it all to fit. So I would say if you're going to do this and put it in your binder, I would just not push it all the way against the back because you'll probably end up damaging the corners on these ones. But I'm going to use it for mine. I spent an hour making it, so I'm going to keep <laughs> using it. Um, pull this out. Ugh, sorry, let me just pull this back. There it is, all completed and done. I was asked if it can be done, and it can, but not on a standard one pocket sleeve. These are, if you can't tell, this is a We Are Memory Keeper, so it came as a 12 by 12 sleeve. I made it all fit and then cut it down as much as I could to get everything to fit. Um, but that's how it'll fit, and this is how it'll work and look. <sighs> but yep, yeah, there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this and liked it. Like and subscribe and until the next video. Bye guys.